Good day, everybody. How you doing on this beautiful day? It is a beautiful Sunday that the Lord has made for sure. I just want to take a few minutes and talk to you a little bit about some business today. Um, some important business for for all of hey us. Hey there, folks. For all of us. 20 hours a week. 20 hours a week. There's 168 hours in a week. And 20 of those hours a week as a business owner, entrepreneur, starting up a business, CEO, exec, whatever. A minimum of 20 hours a week is what you should be investing in accruing information and knowledge and, 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 and studying not just your craft but the industry. Um, you should be learning for 20 hours a week. Now, this is, this is my opinion um, opinion of those that are very successful, um, some even more than 20 hours a week. Now, you have to be the one that drives you and pushes yourself to do it. This is not an assignment that somebody's going to be able to give you. Um, 20 hours a week. Say, James, I don't have 20 hours a week. How am I going to, you know, use 20 hours a week to, 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 to spend, you know, seeking knowledge and investing and, and, and learning and and, and learning new information. Well, you can. It's, it's 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 one of a couple things. You either do it, or you get blowed by by the people that are doing it. That's the short version. The 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 little bit you know medium long version is, you you know, you assess the severity of of what it is that you need to really get done in your business. Um, first and foremost, the reality of it is, is twenty twenty four. There's a lot of new information coming, a lot of new information changing, technology changing, hardware, software, the whole bit. Um, the reality of it is, is you're not going to be able to stay ahead of it. You can only hope to stay in touch with it. And along with that, there are business, you know, fundamentals and principles going back, you know, hundreds of years that you need to learn as well. How am I going to learn all that, James? How am I going to learn all that? I don't have time for all that. Guess what? You either make the time or the time's going to make you. It's going to make you do what you don't want to do. That's what the time's going to make you do. But here's the reality. Okay, step back a little bit. You know, how do I, how do I, you know, 20 hours a week, James, you know, where'd you come up with that? At? You know, if, several years ago when I, um, I, um, sponsored myself in going back to, um, um, school, taking some college courses, um, about nine years ago, 19 years ago. And, one of the things that I I I'd heard and I, you know learned at that time was, you know, each course each course that you're going to study um, per semester is going to require a minimum of probably ten hours a week of study time. I'm like, oh wow, okay, well, you know, if if I can only afford to take two 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 courses this this semester, you know, because I'm fully working and everything, that's still going to be twenty hours, you know, twenty hours a week. I'm going to at least ways need to minimally invest in, you know, in, in, in studying and, you know, coursework and so forth. And I'm like, I got to do it. You know, I'm working full time, but, you know, I got to do it because I got to, you know, push myself. I got to, you know, push myself to, 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 you know, to, 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 to get more, to grow more, to do more, to, you know. So I'm like, okay, you know, and I, you know, I started implementing it and everything. And, and, and it's not about easy, but it's about, you know, what's required for me to get to where I'm going. Now, this started me on a process of, of this 20 hours a week minimum for myself. Um, you know, cause I'm, you know, I'm a part-time student, full-time employed, you know, I'm not, if I was a full-time student, it'd be more, you know, it'd be more. If I was carrying a full course load, you know what I'm saying? It'd be, it'd be 60 hours a week, <laughs> but you know, but the reality of it is, is okay. So that started me in the, in, in the reality in the process. But now after the first, you know, year and a half or so, and I took you know some college courses, and I was like, okay, you know, this new way of going to school, I'm doing all this at home. I'm you know I'm in YouTube University. You know I'm I'm, do, I'm doing all. I'm like I'm not even I don't even get to go to a class. And I'm like, well, it, it's but it, what it did was it cultivated in me something that I didn't that I didn't know I needed because I was comparing the college experience from the early 1990s when I first went to the, to the, to the mid 20 teens. And I knew there was going to be some fundamental differences, but <clears throat> I had to get in there to see what they were and what they were, were, you know, back in, you know, back in the early nineties, you know, 
you know, when I went to college, you know, you went to college, you know, every day you went to a, you know, you'd go to a class and you would sit there for the, you know, the, the, the hour, two hours or whatever the course was, you know, and you'd have a, 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 an instructor, instructor or a professor, you know, teaching you and instructing you. And, and, you know, that's how you, you know, did it. And you, you know, leave and you go do studying and you do your work and whatever, you know, but I knew that was different, but I didn't know how fundamentally different it was. But into the um, when I went back and um, um, put myself back into school <clears throat> in the 20 teens, I, I could see it now. But I'm like, oh, well, I can do this myself. Fast forward, you know, these many years later, started my own business. You know, the reality of it is, is the way we use our time. And this this actually re refers me back to a conversation that was had with me as a young manager back in um <laughs> in the early 2000s um where somebody I really regard hard I regard highly you know at the time I didn't so much but you know but but I really regard this in you know this person highly looked me square faced in 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 a, in a in a in a group meeting that was an evaluation and I was working 7 days a week you know you know for you know, provide for my family, you know, just doing what I had to do and, you know, you know, 10, 15 hours a day, whatever, you know, you know, really, you know, doing everything I, that I, that I felt like I, that I did need to be doing. But I looked at him and, you know, and he looked at me and, you know, I guess the way my face kind of looks right now, just imagine, you know, this from an older gentleman with kind of same, same kind of facial mannerisms and so forth, you know, that has a lot of more experience in life, even at that point than I did, you know. But he looked me straight in my face. He looked man, kind of how my face is doing right now. But he looked at me. He wasn't even smiling up. It's kind of hard for me to do it. But, but he was. He looked at me. Straight. He was like, "Like the problem is, you don't know how to manage your time." And I was like, I sit there. I was like, "Ooh, I was. Ooh, I was like, I was not happy at that moment. I was. But I had to, <clears throat> had to take it. And I'm like, I, you know, I need this job. You know. But I listened to him. I'm like, and he started. He's like, he's like, you know, I was in Indianapolis at the time. He's like, you know. You know, I, my family's in Georgia and I have to go back and forth to Georgia. You know what I'm saying? And I'm here and I'm like, and he's, I mean, and I'm like, I'm like, he's right. Sure. I was working all I need, could work, you know, all the hour, you know, doing everything I could be doing. And I came and sat and, and I thought the meeting was going to go. I thought it was going to be a great pat on the back, but it turned out to be, you know, the kick in the butt that I didn't know I needed. And this is this is what um 22 23 years ago that stuck with me so emphatically that um <laughs> fast forward to the day is still you know I mean, I, you know and I can't wait to talk to him again cuz I mean that was just that was great but what that with that what that did was you know that battery that it put in my back you know has worked and served to remove all the excuses that I had for why I couldn't use the time that we all have to get done what I need to get done. And fast forward to now. So when I say 20 hours a week, 20 hours a week, this is really, you know, this is all based upon where are you trying to get with your business? You know, where are you trying to, what are you trying to, you know, what are you, how, how far are you trying to succeed? If you're, if you're happy with where you're at, if you already have your reward, great. Push stop on the video right now. Go no further. But if, if you're not, you know, continue to listen. And the reality of it is, is how do I, you know, get 20 hours a week, James, to study, to learn, to take in the information that I need to, to learn new skill, whatever I need to do learning. How, how am I going to take 20 hours a week? Well, how you're going to do it is, the, the device you're watching me on right now, for one, step one, period. The reality of it is, is we have the ability in 2024 like we didn't have in 2002 or 2003 or any time before, you know, since, you know, you know, until after, you know, about 2006, 2007, you know, when when the smartphone, you know, was 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 uh, was um, was was given to us by the big tech companies or whatever. But um the reality of it is, is, you know, we have access to unlimited information. If I stopped right there, that'd be enough. But we have access to unlimited information. What does that mean, James? 
Okay, when you're in the car driving from point A to point B, however many hours a week that you're spending driving to wherever, to the grocery store, to wherever, back forth to work, to wherever, that time is, is a magnificent amount of time for learning. You know, get an audio book, you know, listen to podcasts, you know, on, on, on your industry, on, on business in general, you know, listen to, listen to, you know, you know, you know, different, you know, have your phone, you know, look up different articles that you want, that you don't have time to read and let your phone read it to you as you're driving, you know, depending upon how many hours a week that you drive, you know, let's say, let's just say, you know, you're spending, you know, let's just say you're spending, you know, an hour a day driving, you know, five days a week, that's five hours right there. Boom. Okay. You know, rest of the time. Now, when you, this is a time when you have to, you know, evaluate, you know, whatever type of job that you have. I don't know. If you have a job that's just, you know, kind of, you know, redundant and you just, you know, you know, you just, you know, it's repetitive and, you know, really there's not a lot of thought into it. And they allow you to listen to, you know, um, different information or music or, you know, different media while you're there. Well, boom, that's another time to listen to podcasts, listen to, you know, not just not just about, you know, you know, the talking heads about, you know, what somebody else is wearing it no, about business, just about business, about your industry, you know, about the thing that you're interested in. You know, if you're interested in making videos, you know, listening to, you know, there's there's some more time if you're allowed to do that. You know, let's say you get, you know, an hour of that, you know, during the middle of the day, that's, you know, now you're up to, you know, two hours a day. Boom. You know what I'm saying? Now, so that's 10 hours right there. Boom. Five days a week. 10 hours. I ain't got to the weekend yet because now the weekend is where you're going. If, 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 if you're off on the weekend or whatever your two days off is, that's where you're going to pick up um, a vast majority of the time. Well, I got to, you know, I got to go do this. I got to do. Here's the thing. You and your got to do's need to get some reordering because the reality of it is what you got to do, what you got to do is invest in yourself, invest in, in your knowledge, invest in the things that you need to know in order to get in the game, stay in the game and grow in the game, whatever the game is. That's what you got to do. You know, so the reality of it is, is this is the time when you say, OK, I'm going to take, you know, two or three hours, you know, on 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 the weekend. OK, so now you got, you know, so now you have to, you know, 14 hours. OK, so now you got six more hours. OK, where's that six more hours going to come from? Well, that's going to come from, you know, 15 minutes here, 15 minutes there throughout the course of the seven day week, you know, at different times, you know, whether, whether, you know, you know a, a bathroom break or whatever, you know, you know, you know, you get an amazing amount of information digested. You know what I'm saying? I mean, we all go into the restroom sometime of the day and we get into that, but, you know, that's the time to digest, you know, reading some different things, you know, get a couple of books that are, that's your, that's your interested in and just start you know biting off a chapter here chapter there you know a couple paragraphs here a couple paragraphs there and just commit to doing it and building and starting to to construct a pattern a new pattern inside of you that's going to help you to grow and move and be able to get the 20 hours a week got to get the 20 hours a week you got to get the 20 hours a week you know, you got to make, you got to, you know, a minimum, you can do more, but a minimum, because here's the thing right now, the biggest thing that we all need to be able to do is to be able to reskill on, you know, on a continual basis. You know, there's a lot of new coming that's not even here yet. That's going to require us to be able to learn how to utilize it. So. You know, today's video, 20 hours a week, you know, invest in yourself is 20 hours a week. Choose to take the time, make the time. If it's worth it to you to grow yourself, grow your business, you're going to make 20 hours a week minimum happen, period. No excuses. So on that one, you know, just wanted to, you know, make this little video, kind of touch in with you a little bit, you know, you know, just appreciate the tone. Just appreciate the tone and take it to heart. You know, you know, you're worth it. Your business is worth it. You know, and this is the time when we got to you know, we have to do these things. All right. Talk to you later. God bless you.